Hey, what's going on? This is Big Grime. Make sure you check me out at BigGrime.com. Show you the stuff that I've been doing lately and um, stay updated with everything. Um, or subscribe to my videos. Make sure you do that and rate and comment. Positive or negative, it's whatever. Um, basically, I just finished making a video showing you how to copy your hardware keyboard sounds. Um, so, like, if a friend of yours got a hardware um, synth and you like the sound of it, of a preset or something, you can just um, copy the sound and use it in your uh, sampler or your soft synth or whatever. So, um, now I'm about to show you how to copy sounds on your VSTs. Now, I know some of you YouTubers may be asking, why would I want to copy a sound on my VST when I could just use the VST? Well, it's because I have a lot of VSTs. Um, I've had to reinstall my computer, and it was a pain in the ass to reinstall all those VSTs. And a lot of them I really didn't use on a daily basis. I only used them for certain sounds. I didn't like programming in them. Um, I just, some of the presets was pretty good. Well, with this, this allows me to copy the sound and never have to use that VST ever again. I can just, like, I use Contact as my sampler of choice when I do this type of sampling. I use Contact, and it's made by Naval Instruments. And I can have all my different sounds from VSTs and just have it all in one um, instrument instead of having to load different VSTs. If I want this sound on this VST, I got to load that up. Then if I want another sound out of this other VST, I got to load that up. Well, this way I can sample the sound and don't have to load it. I only have to have it on my hard drive. I can just delete it off and I'm good. So that's the purpose or reason why I use it. Um, with this, this is called High Life, and um, one, of the, one of the great things about it, it's free. Don't have to pay for it. You can go on Google, search High Life or Disco DSP or whatever, and download it, and you can use it. Um, this is it right here. Basically, um, what you have to do is click on VSTI. <laughs> All right. Then you want to search for your VST. I have V-Station, um, so I'm going to use that. Right off the bat, you hit the keys, you hear V-Station. All right, if, um, let's say I want to choose a preset, you go to this box, click on it. There's all my presets for um, V-Station. And I want to say that you can just, um, actually, you can just use this. You can just use this to um, play different presets that you don't have to actually save it to wave. But I like to do that because that way I don't have to have the VST. I just, that's how I do it. So, because um, you can, like, I think you can adjust the attack on it and stuff, which I haven't done. I really haven't messed with none of this stuff yet. I just use it just to copy it to wave. All right, so once you pick the preset that you want, you click on freeze. It says freeze will take up four megabytes, which is nothing. Hit OK. It's freezing. Uh, it's actually copying the sound, in other words. You want to unload the VST, meaning that if you do not want to copy any more sounds from this VST, you hit yes. If you want another sound off this VST, you hit no. I'm going to hit yes. And now, it copied the sound. So really, like I said, you can use it. You can use High Life as your sampler of choice that you want to use um, to play the sound. Was actually sound pretty good, um, but again, I like I like contact. So, if you like to use a separate sampler besides this, you hit file, export the wave, and then it's Brass Eleven. You can change the name of it. You hit save, 
when you hit save when you save it into that folder it automatically makes its own folder called brass 11 and you have all your the only downfall to this it only saved F keys so you gotta drag it over to the next F key it doesn't save every key like the other like Seth catcher it saves every key it records and plays every key what well, this one doesn't it just only does the F keys and with this you can change the uh, the length of the sample um, but what it actually does it at the end of the sa sample it loops so that's why it's really long so it plays and then when it gets to the end it loops like the last you know second or something like that so that's my video on how to copy your VST sounds again you can use this to play it or a separate sampler um, all you have to do is save it to wave and then put it in your sampler alright peace